I've been with Cirque for, it'll be 10 years come February of next year. I actually started out as a gymnast right around the age of 11, 12, 10, 11, 12, right around there. And that was something that I could do on my, in my spare time when I was, you know, my mother's side. Uh, Cirque had a rigging point at uh, one of the gyms that I was coaching at, and they had an audition, and I saw somebody doing some aerial, and I ended up you know, getting fascinated with it and decided I could do that. So I trained myself doing aerial. I bought a pair of aerial tissue, rigged it up in the gym, and that's what started me into my aerial career, so to say. I remember I was pumping gas at a gas station when I got a phone call from Cirque du Soleil saying that they wanted me to come and audition. I thought it was a joke. I remember sitting in the seats when I was, I think I was 18 or 19, saying, this is the show that I want to be in. And when they asked me, I was like, uh, of course, humanity. The chains were my idea. I actually had showed and proposed chains to, to Zumanity, and they loved it, and they wanted me to create something that was special and unique to Zumanity that hadn't been seen before. When I drop in, I feel like I turn into a completely, like, it's like the revved up personality of who I am. And because it is something that I created, it's in my body and it's in my soul. My mom is probably my number one fan and number one supporter. She knew how the workforce was changing and she wanted to make sure that I had a very good future. So she was a little bit not happy to know that I was turning down my, you know, dreams of being a doctor or a surgeon and dropping out of school. But once she came and saw what I was doing and what I was performing and the passion that I actually had for it and how good I was, that was when she was like, this is what you were meant to do. She remembers when I first brought home a pair of tissue and you know, threw it over the banister for the first time because I was too excited. I mean, originally, like, uh, gymnastics was more of like a side thing. I never thought that I would be on a billboard on the Las Vegas Strip. I think it's amazing, It's especially being born and raised here in Las Vegas. So many people come into Las Vegas headliners and having their own billboard, and, and for me to be able to have that, it's cool to have my own little piece of Las Vegas history. Mm -hmm.